Hey guys, it's Jessica, and today I'm going to share with you my August favorites and flops. I have some high-end flops. In fact, I have three high-end products that I really am not loving right now. Um, so I'm excited to share those with you guys, and I like to sprinkle those throughout. So stay tuned for those, but I also have a lot of favorites. So I hope that you enjoy this style of video. If you do, definitely give it a thumbs up, and I hope that you will subscribe to catch more of my videos. Let's go ahead and get into it. That just sounded like a robot. All right, so I've got a mix of drugstore and high-end as I almost always do, um, and I'm excited to share them with you. So have I already said that? I am excited. I haven't had enough coffee today, hold on. Has anyone ever been to the Biltmore in, which Carolina is it in? We were just there, North Carolina, right? Is that right? Someone that is from North or South Carolina is screaming at the screen right like, no, it's this one. Anyway, um, it was so much fun seeing the Biltmore. We did that like we drove down there, I don't know, maybe last, was it last November or the November before? I want to say it was last November. Either way, it was so much fun. We stayed like in the mountains in an Airbnb and it was so cool. Anyway, um, so I have a lot of tutorials. If I'm wearing this today, I film myself putting it on, so I'll definitely show that as I'm talking about it so you can see what it looks like as it's applied. Um, so I tried to wear as much as I could. Let's start with something that is completely new to me, including the brand. This is the brand Volition, and this is their oil control mattifying mist. Now this brand I know is sold at Sephora, and I think they like just started being sold at Sephora. And as many of you guys know, there are just a lot of brands. This is like the season of Sephora trying on new brands in their store and online. Um, well, Volition sent me a bunch of stuff, which you guys know I'm sent a lot of stuff, and I'm always honest when I talk about it, whether I like it or not. Um, they sent me other things I haven't tried yet. This is the only one I tried and oh my gosh, it's really, really nice. Now I don't really care about mattifying mist because my hair, my skin, I told you I haven't had enough coffee, not my hair. My skin is typically dry. It's kind of normal right now, but it's never really truly oily. So I'm trying to talk quieter. Save your voice, Jess. They're right there. Um, anyway, but I tried this and I was like, you know, I wonder, it's kind of still summertime, you know, I do get a little oily here, so I sprayed it on and it just like gets rid of the oil, but it doesn't look powdery. I don't know how it does it. I really don't know how it does it, but it's, I like the packaging, but with setting sprays, the most important part is the mist as well. I guess it can't be the most because also the formula should be probably number one. But the formula could be amazing, but if the mister is not good, you might get like little splotches and then, like, I feel like there's an e.l.f. one I've tried that the sprayer nozzle is just not very good. And so even if the formula is great, it doesn't matter when it's just, like, weird and splotchy. It doesn't do what it's supposed to do. So this one has a really fine mist. It does have a fragrance. Um, what does it remind me of? Kind of rosy, maybe, like a rosy kind of a fragrance. So if that bothers you, you might not like it. Or if your skin is bothered by fragrance, I would stay away. But if it is not... I think you'd be really impressed. It is kind of small, like this one's a 1.7, and I'm curious. Yeah, like I have this Cover Effects mattifying one, which is also really good, but this one has four ounces. So this is a lot smaller, that's something to keep in mind. And I feel like these are really similar, but I've just, I've used both lately, and I've, every time I spray this one on, and I look at my face at the end of the day, I feel like my face always looks better than it does when I use this one, but they're both really good. The next favorite is much, much cheaper than that one. This shirt's driving me crazy. And also, please don't make fun of the fact that I got like broccoli soup on my shirt and I can't get it off and I am five years old. <laughs> I am a five year old. I was that kid in elementary school that would always, and also all my life, but like I would always need a change of a, like a shirt because I would always get my lunch all over myself. So the next one that I freaking love, I'm wearing it on my lips today. <laughs> it's this NYX lingerie. I have to admit, NYX makes so many lip products that when I hear about them, I'm like, because they make so many. I'm like, how could any of them possibly be any different than the stuff that they already have out, than stuff that's already out there? You know what I'm saying? They have so many lip lines, like maybe too many, but whatever. They're cheap. I love that. You can find any shade you could ever want, which is amazing. Well, this stuff, I was like, why are people talking about this? Like, how good could it be? Is it a liquid lipstick? Is it a lip gloss? Like, what is it? Until you've tried this on your lips, not just swatching it on your hand, because I had done that before, like in the store, like in Ulta where they have testers, and I was like, eh. But I finally decided to buy some, 
And then of course, like after I bought some, Nick sent me a bunch and I'm like, awesome, but of course. Of course it's like a week after I buy it. Anyway, regardless, this is the shade Push Up. And like I said, it's what I'm wearing on my lips today. It might look darker on me than on others because my lips are naturally pigmented, but it's a really pretty color. So you put it on your lips and the reason it's called lingerie has to be that it's like this, it doesn't look sheer, but when you kind of smooth it out on your lips, it like shears and becomes like one with your lips, but it's not dry. It feels like a lip balm, but not even, it's like between a lip balm and something drying. It's not drying. And like, I, I, the best way to explain is that it does, it becomes one with your lips. And so I'm like, oh my gosh, like, I, like I'm looking in the mirror here, I'm like, I feel like my lips look so nice and healthy, but I just went, no, 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 and it's done. So anyway, this stuff is amazing. Find a shade that you would love. It's inexpensive, and oh my gosh, I can't believe it was right under my nose all along, and it took me this long to finally try it. Okay, let's talk about a flop. I have tried to make this one work. I'm more mad that I just spent the money on it, and I don't have the receipt anymore. I think it's been too long since I bought it. I don't know. I need to look into it. Regardless, this is the Buxom Show Some Skin foundation, and it's their weightless foundation, light to medium coverage, SPF 30. I liked that it was clear packaging. I don't know why, but I kind of liked the way it was packaged, just something different. And so you squeeze it out, and I can't figure out how to use this. It, it's very um, thin. It's not really like runny runny though, it's just more thin. And of course I've got self tanner on today, this is fake. I just think it's funny. I don't self tan very often, so when I do, I'm like, Jesse, you look like crazy. Like, it's like weird to me to see. And then there's other people that tan all the time, like self tan, and that's like what they're used to. But for me, I'm like, I feel like I'm lying to everyone. Anyway, um, why did I even talk about that? So this stuff, it's super, super thin, and I can't get it to work with my skin. I don't mind something that doesn't have high coverage if it makes my skin look healthier. But this doesn't have very good coverage, which is fine, but it just makes my skin look crummy. Whereas I could just grab a tinted moisturizer that probably has better ingredients for my skin and put that on and my skin looks better than it does with this. And this was expensive. So their claim is blend a pearl sized amount of this weightless foundation on your face for a moisturized, smooth, glowing, even looking complexion. Apply more to build coverage. Now rock what you've got. I don't know. You guys tell me, do you, have you found a great way to apply it? I swear to you, I've tried everything and I just can't make it work. So let me know if you know a trick or just something about this. Cause I'm, if I'm going to have it, I want to use it. And it was a lot of fun. All right. Let's talk about some more favorites. These are the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Fix Highlighting Sticks. Guys, this shade right here, Gold Light, is a dream. It is like the most, and I'm, like I said, typically fair skin. Today I look a little tanner, but it is like this beautiful light, light, light gold highlighter. And what I've been doing is it's creamy, but not so creamy that it just gets everywhere. It's just creamy enough that like I'll literally just go ch -ch -ch, kind of like here. <gasps> oh no. Uh, so that sucks. And it's on my shirt. Some of you guys are going to be very happy because I film a lot of videos in one day because it's just the way I have to do it with a full-time job. Oh my gosh, this sucks. Anyway, this poor shirt, I've only worn it like, this might be the first time I've ever actually worn it and I have makeup all over it. You'll be happy to know that I'm gonna try to change shirts. I feel like I'm like, yet again, like lying to you guys, but a lot of you guys are like, just change your shirt between filming like one or two videos and so it's like, looks a little bit different. For us when we're watching I'm like that's true because I do like when I'm editing I'm like I get bored seeing myself in the same outfit anyway now I have to change because I've got crap all over myself so this highlighter I apparently the packaging is terrible so now we know that that stinks but regardless the formula what I'll do is I'll just go ch -ch, and then I'll just take a wet beauty blender or some kind of sponge and just kind of blend it into that area I'm not wearing it today because I was trying out something else I'll show you um, but it just looks so healthy and natural. So even if I'm really in a hurry and I'm not putting on blush or bronzer, but I do wanna have that glow, this is always what I've been reaching for the past month. So this is the shade I really like. This other one is in pink light. And I don't know, it doesn't look as natural even when I'm at my fairest 
because it is that really, really kind of ethereal whitish pink. But like comparing the two, there's the gold one and there's the pink. I really, I think the gold one's pretty, even if you have fair skin. So I really, really like this. If you're wondering, the shirt is from Express. Uh, the necklace, I think from Target, probably. Okay, next up is, let's do another product I'm not liking. This is the Marc Jacobs Perfecting Coconut Eye Primer. They sent it to me with a bunch of their eyeshadow palettes, which I was like screaming. And I love their eyeshadow formula for the most part. Every once in a while there'll be like a dud in one of their palettes, but really I just don't understand why we're still putting like glitter glitter in eyeshadow. Why are we still doing that? Like, I never ever use that shadow in any brand and any palette because there's always glitter no matter what primer I use. So I just don't, I don't get it. Anyway, that has nothing to do with this. So this primer, my problem with it is that it's insanely expensive and it's just about the same formula as like the Milani eye primer or anything else, but it also has this horrible thing it does where like, you know, I tap it onto my eye just a very small amount and where I didn't like, like if I forget to like kind of blend out with maybe a different finger, the outer edges, you will see like a visible line of like where it's mixing with either your foundation or your moisturizer, you know, whatever it is, whatever order you do your makeup in. And it's just gross. And then it's really hard to get like off of there. And I'm like, what in the world? So I've had to redo eye looks like three different times with this because it gets really weird and crepey and I can't like blend it because it just sets. So it does a great job of holding on to shadow but almost too good of a job because it'll also hold on to any other powder or anything that's in that area. So I just don't like it. I don't think it's worth the price um, at all. So if you're looking for an alternative, I have so, there are so many good eye primers out there. You can almost go wrong with no primer. That was worded weird. You can't go wrong with like any primer unless it does something like that. The Milani eyeshadow primer is amazing. The Flower In Your Prime Ultimate Eye Primer is amazing. These are amazing cheap ones. I could tell you a million amazing expensive ones, but I figured these would be uh, more worth your money. And, you know, thinking about this, this one's super expensive and it's terrible. All right. Another favorite, and I can show you myself applying this one today. This is the Balm Mad Lash Mascara. Every one of you guys has told me, you've got to try the Balm Mad Lash, I'm telling you. And you guys have been telling me this for years. And I just never, I, you know, I get the Balm products all the time, I love them, but I've just never tried this. And I've had it unopened for quite a while. Well, I finally opened it the other day and I was like, I'm just going to try it. And I was like, oh man, because it just like, it separates your lashes, it adds volume, it curls lashes, it stays all day. like. This is amazing. Now, I will say this. While I do think this is amazing, I still like my, um, the pink Lash Paradise from L'Oreal. I still like that one the best. Only because for every day, that one's like even more like velvety looking, whereas this does eventually harden kind of. And so if it's a little wonky, like the way you applied it, if it was a little wonky, it's gonna stay like that. Whereas the other one, I mean, it just feels like normal lashes. So while I do think this is easily like, top three or four best mascaras I've ever tried. I still like the Lash Paradise one just a little bit better, but this is amazing. I've been using it every day for a few weeks now. A few weeks? Yeah, just about. Anyway, so I really, really like it. I highly recommend. I would wait. I always buy my products from the Balm at 50% off on Holt Look, and I can link that below because that's where I buy a lot of my high-end makeup, and I, I don't think I've ever bought anything from the Balm at full price, because almost all of their products are on there. At some point or another, you just have to wait until it's, the, the, until it's on the flash sale. Another favorite, this one's expensive, guys. This one is expensive. I'm telling you that ahead of time. This is the Givenchy Photo Perfection, Perfection with an X, Fluid Foundation with Sunscreen. It has SPF of 20, Oh my gosh, this foundation is so beautiful. I'm wearing it today. I have, my natural color is number five, Perfect Praline. However, today, since I did self-tan, I'm wearing six, Perfect Honey. So what I, when I'm used to using this shade, I, it's just so, and both of them are this way. It looks like your skin, but perfect. And it doesn't look cakey. It doesn't, it stays in place. Like, I love this foundation. It is so beautiful. It's a little bit more liquidy 
than like the e.l.f. flawless finish that I love and I still love that one as well like these are totally on par with that um, but if you're feeling splurgy or as I always say if you have a gift card or you're just wanting to try a high-end foundation I really really loved this my favorite way to apply this is with the beauty blender or I've been using my L'Oreal pink sponge and I will say this about this one I loved the fir very first one I ever tried and then I got another one and I think that one was actually one they sent to me and it wasn't the same. So I, I'm kind of tempted to go and buy another one and see if that one is like the other one they sent that was bad or if it's like this one. I don't know, maybe it was a weird batch. I hope they didn't change the formula, but the first one I ever tried, this one is amazing. I'll link this below. Regardless, that's how I've been applying it and it just is flawless. Even on my nose, I like the way it looks. Now, at the end of a 12 hour, 13 hour day, is it perfect? I really feel like for this, it really does depend on the primer I'm using. So like if I'm using my, uh, like a really good, like pore filling primer that just like is like long wearing, I think it looks amazing. But if I'm using a more hydrating primer, I don't think those are always as long wearing. And so for this, I do notice it break up around my nose. So that's something to keep in mind, but I love it. So my next favorite is from Pixi. So it's kind of, I treat Pixi as like middle of the road. I think it's more expensive to be considered drugstore, although a lot of the classic drugstore brands are like going up in price. But this is the Pixi and it's Judy Time palette. She's another YouTuber that I am sure you have heard of. Um, I've watched her for years and um, it's called It's I Time. Oh, I get it, like it's Judy Time. But, um, oh my gosh, aren't these shades absolutely gorgeous? Huge pans, gorgeous shades, a great mix of matte it's got six matte six shimmer the only one that has glitter glitter in it looks like is this black one which i haven't even used because i just i don't know black with glitter why are we doing that why isn't it just black anyway the only thing i wish this palette had is a um light beige matte because that's for me like i set my primer with that on my eye and I usually use that on my brow bone etc and so I always have to pull and what I've been using is this wet n wild it's my favorite the wet n wild single it's their color icon little single shadow in brulee and it's just a matte very pigmented creamy white oh that's from that black man that is not coming off anyway it's an amazing shadow I could talk about it my favorites every month because it's amazing but these blend so beautifully. I'm wearing this today on my eyes, so I'll show you me applying it while I explain what I'm wearing. I put on this kind of light peach shade as a kind of crease and buffing color. And then I applied this darker kind of medium mauve shade. Again, these are both matte. I did that kind of in the outer corner and into my crease a little bit. Then I applied this really pretty deeper reddish bronze color all over my lid. And then on my lower lash line, I use this warm, warm brown on my lower lash line. And actually on my lower lash line, I also used, what else did I use on my lower lash line? Maybe it was like this shade. I'm trying to remember, I used a little bit of that like all the way in and then the darker color on the outside. So it's so gorgeous. I didn't, uh, what I've been using a lot are these two shimmery colors, even just on their own are so beautiful, but today I didn't use them. But I just really love it. The only shades I haven't gotten a lot of use out of is like this shade here. It's, it's a great shade. I just haven't done a look where I need it. The one thing I will say, look how pretty that is. These do kick up some powder, not like the subculture kind of kick up, but it does kick up some powder. So make sure you either blow on your brush or tap on your brush, whatever your pick your poison there. Um, the other shade I haven't used a lot is this one. Again, not for any reason. I just haven't done a look with that shade but it's they're all so beautiful so highly recommend pixie sold at target okay let's i have one more flop but i want to tell you about my other favorite this one i thought about not mentioning because again it's so expensive but it's a part of this that i wanted to mention this is from kevin aquan it's their making faces beauty book and it the kevin aquan's like famous book is called making faces and so these are like all of his like best selling best most well-known products from his entire line from all the years this has been a brand and so the one i'm wearing today that i've been using like crazy is this contour one so it's got three different books in it and they magnetize together if you want them to 
Um, but this one's chapter one, contour. Then there's, oops, chapter two, blush and define. And I'll show you this one really quickly. This one is not part of my favorites, but it is nice. It's got these shadows, which really you can use as like liner. And then it's got these beautiful blushes. Shador is a really famous one. And then Darlene, which is more peachy. And then the other part of it is the emphasize. And it's got eight of his um, shadows, I guess, that are, I assume they're bestsellers, um, which I like. I've played with a little bit, but this, it has some of my favorite products of all time in it. And I'm wearing all three of these today. So I'll show you me applying it, but it has the sculpt medium, which I did just on my, the back part of my cheekbone, like right where your eyebrow hits. It's about as far as I go with it. Um, and then it has the bronze um, in Desert Nights, which I used up kind of just in this region. And sometimes I'll go over that a little bit, but I really today just focus it up there. And then the highlight in Candlelight, I just put right here. Now I did throw on, I think Mac Soft and Gentle on top just to make it pop a little bit more. This is not a highlight that you can see from space. This is a highlight that looks unbelievably gorgeous in real life. And that is why I love it because I don't, it's just not my style to have that kind of a pop and highlight when I'm teaching or just out and about. I don't mind it, but it's just not my favorite on me. Anyway, so I love these. Let me show you some swatches as well now that you've seen them on. They're just great, great powders. Now they are powder, they kick up some dust, but here they are. You can see the very clear distinction between the contour and the bronze, which I appreciate. And I think that's why I love it so much. It really is meant for two different purposes, which is true for bronzer and contour. And I just love this. I could see myself, I'm going to my brother's wedding soon in San Diego, and I could see myself bringing this for that because that covers three major, can I open it? Three major things I would need that I know I love. Last thing, my last flop is from It Cosmetics. This is their Bye Bye Pores Illumination. I don't understand this product. It's this white powder and it, it has this illuminating quality to it, but it's really weirdly powdery. And you know, which I can get beyond that, but it just leaves this white cast that I can't get beyond. So I could see myself maybe liking it if I did it on my under eye like only, but I would still worry that it just looks white under there. And so what I've seen people say about this, or even I think it was the brand, like the thing I read about it, was that it's like, it's supposed to blur your pores. So like if you have pores like maybe here or even especially like here, it can blur your pores without making everything look matte and kind of dead. But the problem is these ha this has like these, it doesn't have like glitter in it, but it, it has this quality that just looks really white. So if you were any fairer than me, I don't know how anyone would wear it. So I don't know, I guess I just don't get it. Again, if you found a way to make this work for you, please let me know because I want this to work for me. I want every makeup product I own to work for me. So let me know if you found a good way. Maybe, maybe it would look better if I used like a wet beauty blender and dipped it in a corner of it and applied it that way, but it just looks powdery and white and I don't like it. Okay, I have a really weird favorite. Um, this is from, well, it's called the shower cap. Emphasis on sh because that is, how, um, that's why I love this. Okay, that's not why. So it's a shower cap. And actually this came with some PR gift from some brand. I think it was Bumble and Bumble, I think. I don't know. Regardless, this shower cap is amazing. So I've had, you know, a million shower caps, but they're so big and like, you know, weird and crinkly and you never can get all your hair to actually stay in there. This one is totally form-fed and I'll, I'll insert a picture or video of me wearing this so you can actually see it on. But it, it's kind of got, it's like that turban style. It's so beautiful and it's stretchy. So it, it's fitted. It actually holds all your hair in place. It do, it's not as loud when water hits it, etc. which again, I appreciate. It's really thin and it's machine washable, which I've never really thought about. You know, my shower cap, it keeps getting wet and then, you know, that's kind of gross. But this is machine washable, and I don't know if the one I've been using is. Regardless, I'm really excited about this, and I know that sounds so dumb, but like for me, I, I dry shampoo my hair like every other day. And so I use shower caps a lot, and so I appreciate when this is a very well thought out one. So I will link this below as well. I think it is so, so cool. So those are all of my favorites and flops for the month of August. I hope that you enjoyed and that you will catch some more of my videos. If you'd like to see my last month's favorites and flops for July, I will link that below as well. Otherwise, I hope you'll subscribe and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.